When is a fancy Hyundai not a Genesis? Right, when it's the grandeur. It's a sedan inspired by a one inspired by a spaceship. The big sedan enters its seventh generation with a futuristic exterior design that will leave no one indifferent. If the name doesn't ring a bell, it's sold in some markets as the Azera. The United States was one of them until the automaker axed it in 2017 by deciding not to bring the previous gen car. A substantial facelift arrived in late 2019 and now the all new model is here. In typical Hyundai Kia Genesis fashion, there are no technical specifications available at this point, though we are guessing the engine palette will include four and six cylinder units. The few official images provided show the 2023 grandeur with a bold exterior design featuring a front fascia akin to the futuristic looking stereo minivan. An LED light bar stretches across the entire width of the front, while the actual headlights are mounted lower in a separate cluster on the bumper to flank a massive grille. The side profile reveals door handles that remain flush with the body when not in use, while the quarter glass serves as a visual nod to the original grandeur from 1986. The long rear door strongly suggests the new grandeur has had its wheelbase stretched for greater rear legroom. It's now probably slotted between the Genesis J80 and J90 in terms of size. The uncluttered design continues at the back, where full-width light bar echoes the one at the front. A gently curved trunk lid hosts the rear view camera in the center, above the prominent grandeur lettering. To maintain the clean look, Hyundai hid the exhaust tip under the bumper, and we are noticing the absence of parking sensors. Granted, this isn't an actual image, so the real thing likely has the sensors integrated into the glossy black bar that surrounds the whole car. As for the interior, it too is a major departure from the previous generation model. It gets a dual screen setup atop the dashboard alone, with a third display mounted lower on the center console from where the driver and passenger control the climate setting. It would seem the steering wheel's design takes after that of the first grandeur, while the rear passengers have their own controls mounted between the seats. Ambient lighting in the door cars lets the cabin a cozy atmosphere, while the seats are wrapped in what Hyundai describes as an eco Nappa leather combined with hygienic antibacterial leather on some of the touch points. Other noticeable features include separate audio controls, a dual pane sunroof, and electrically operated front seats with interestingly shaped headrests. Full details should be disclosed in the coming weeks ahead of a market launch like a set for early 2023. Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.